What's up guys, my name's Curtis and welcome to 5 Minute Finance, where I take personal finance topics and explain them to you in 5 minutes or less. If you'd like to get a mortgage, take out a loan, or get approved for certain credit cards, you definitely want to have a good credit score. But how are credit scores calculated and what can you do to improve your credit score? Let's talk about it. If you do a simple Google search of how a credit score is calculated, you'll probably run into this chart from FICO. Seeing that FICO scores are used in a large majority of credit decisions here in the US, this is a great place to start. I will say there is somewhat of a disclaimer that comes straight from their website. Your FICO scores are unique, just like you. They are calculated based on the five categories referenced above, but for some people, the importance of those categories may be different. For example, scores for people who have not been using credit very long are going to be calculated differently from those who have a long credit history. Basically, all that's saying is that the algorithm that FICO uses is extremely complicated and it takes into account a lot of different information. But as you can see in this chart, FICO scores are calculated based on five major criteria, each one having its own different weighting in the score. The great thing is you yourself are in control of four of these five categories. The only one that you can't directly affect with your decisions is the length of credit history. But that's not all that big of a deal since it only makes up about 15% of your credit score. The largest portion of your FICO credit score is based on whether or not you make payments on time. Payment history is comprised of the following. Payment information from credit cards, mortgages, or other loans. The number of delinquent payments you may have, as well as the total amount owed on delinquent accounts. The total number of past due payments, as well as how long it has been since you skipped a payment and the number of accounts that are being paid on time. The next largest portion that affects your credit score is the total amount owed, which is breaking down like this. The amount owed on all of your different accounts, as well as what type of accounts those are. The number of accounts that you're currently carrying a balance on. Credit utilization ratio, in other words, how much credit you are using compared to how much your credit limit is. And lastly, the total amount owed on installment loans compared to the original balance of those installment loans. The final two sections that you have control over are credit mix as well as new credit. Credit mix just looks at the different types of debt that you have, for example, credit cards, mortgages, auto loans, etc., to see if you can handle multiple different forms of debt. New credit is simply looking at the number of new accounts that you've opened recently, as well as the number of credit inquiries you've had on your account recently. So now that you know what goes into a credit score, what are the best ways to boost or improve your FICO score? Let's start with the most obvious one, and that is make all of your payments on time. I guarantee if you just do this step, your credit score will improve over time. In addition to that, pay off any credit cards in full every single month. Carrying a balance on loans for things like cars or housing are not that big of a deal, but carrying a balance on a credit card with say a 15 to 20% interest rate can really hurt you long term. So always pay your credit cards off in full every single month. Next is don't use all of your available credit. In other words, don't max out your credit cards. Credit utilization is good and necessary to increase your credit score. However, the lower the percentage of available credit that you use, the better. Lastly, diversify your credit if possible and don't constantly be opening new accounts just for the heck of it. As I mentioned previously, the FICO algorithm is extremely complicated and takes into account a lot of different information. So I can't give you guys a perfect example of if you do X, your credit score will be Y. However, if you follow the tips that I just laid out, I guarantee over time your credit score will improve. If you guys enjoyed the video, it would really help me out if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing for more personal finance videos.